His name is Zacharias. He's the prototype of a robot designed to improve the independence and quality of life of elderly people who, like Agaliki Kukutsi, live alone in their homes. Agaliki is 68 years old and she lives alone in her home in Patras in Western Greece. She suffers from mild arthritis, but otherwise her health is fine. And she's now volunteering for an EU-funded research project she hopes will help make a difference to elderly people like her. The team of scientists has informed me that the robot will record my daily movements to prevent any falls or diseases. The robot measures elderly people's walking speeds and movement patterns, and it's currently being tested to see whether it can operate by itself. Any unusual data it gathers is automatically sent to a person's family or their doctor. To do this, Zacharias is equipped with sophisticated cameras. It has a 2D laser sensor that it uses to create a map of the environment around so the robot can locate itself. It also has two cameras, a front camera that is also a 3D sensor and helps to study a user's movements and a rear camera that we use to detect the elderly person when he or she is following the robot. Researchers are hoping to integrate robots into so-called smart homes, but it's still a huge challenge to design. The robot is constantly moving inside the user's home. It's totally dynamic, it's not static, but homes themselves are also a very dynamic environment. Things move, furniture changes places, there are obstacles, big or small, and then we have the movement of people. Here in Athens, researchers are working on ways to improve what they call perception technologies in the robot to make it as unobtrusive and functional as possible. It's also got to be cheaper than the cost of nursing the elderly right now. We're talking about developing a low-cost robot. We also want it to be able to easily adapt to different home environments or smart homes. And we want the robot to be user-friendly so it can be easily used by people without too much training. Nurses are also taking part in the tests with a close eye on how these robots can be most useful to those they currently care for. As a nurse, I believe these new technologies in healthcare will eventually help a lot of elderly people with diseases like Alzheimer's or multiple sclerosis to record their movements daily. The doctors will be able to compare those records in the past and present so that they can check how diseases are evolving or how quick they are developing. Thank you.